I am not going to give a long speech uh, because what I really want to do is have a conversation with some outstanding young people uh, who are part of our panel and we're going to introduce in a moment. Uh, but I do want to begin by offering some opening thoughts uh, about the time in which we gather here today. Uh, and I'm going to start with uh, the British people's decision to leave the European Union, uh, the vote that took place yes yesterday. Um, just a few, uh, few hours ago, I spoke with Prime Minister David Cameron. Uh, David has been an outstanding uh, friend and partner on the global stage. And based on our conversation, I'm confident that the UK is committed to an orderly transition out of the EU. We agreed that our economic and financial teams will remain in close contact as we stay focused on ensuring economic growth and financial stability. Uh, I then spoke to Chancellor Merkel of Germany and we agreed that the United States and our European allies will work closely together in the weeks and months ahead. I do think that yesterday's vote speaks to the ongoing changes and challenges that are raised by globalization. But while the UK's relationship with the EU will change, uh, one thing that will not change is the special relationship that exists between our two nations. Uh, that will endure. The EU will remain one of our indispensable partners. Our NATO alliance will remain a cornerstone of global security, and in a few weeks we'll be meeting in Warsaw for uh, the NATO summit. And our shared values, including our commitment to democracy and pluralism and opportunity for all people in a globalized world, that will continue to unite all of us. And that is the work that brings us here today. 